Welcome back to episode four of Potty Break. Now you're probably wondering, why am I in this little blue thing? She's right? not a Smurf. <laughs> I'm not a Smurf. <laughs> so Liv, you want to tell them a little mm -hmm. bit about mm -hmm. why I'm in this? Yeah, sure. Well, this is one of the great sensory products we have to show you today. But first, before I tell you about this particular one, let me tell you this. One of the most common problems that kids have who have um, had early trauma in their lives or in utero exposure to uh, substances is they have uh, sensory processing issues. And so what that means is that their vestibular system or their balance is off and so they're very clumsy or um, their, sensor, their senses get overloaded quite easily. And so all that sense, in, the five senses that are coming into the brain just kind of overload them and freak them out. And we won't really get anywhere with these kids until we get that kind of under control. And so that's the realm of an occupational therapist and so if your kid has these issues where you notice that they don't like the way things feel on their skin and they don't like the way things taste or they're constantly not wanting to be touched and that sort of thing can be, can be sensory issues amongst a bunch of other things. So you're going to want to make an appointment with an OT in your area who specializes in sensory issues and to figure out what's going on. But in the meantime, we got the holidays to get through. So how are we going to get these sensory kids through the holidays? And so we have a lot of great tools. So this is the first thing. It's called the Sensory Sock, S-O-X. And this is made of lycra material, it's very stretchy, and it keeps the kid nice and contained. And it, it's really therapeutic because it helps them uh, learn their proprioception, which is the other thing these kids have a problem with. The proprioception is the, the idea of where their hands and legs and body is in, in relationship to each other. I remember one time, I was working with a kid in my office, and uh, his parents were in the room, and every time he came in, he, would get, he got so anxious, so worked up, he started like grabbing things, he was throwing water bottles at his mom. I bought one of these things, I stuck him in at his next appointment, the kid sat there and listened and talked the entire time. And so if nothing else, what you can do is just put it up around their head and just lock them in there, table that thing shut, and you can probably have hours and hours of alone time while your kids try to figure out how to get out. <laughs> Another thing we have is uh, kinetic sand. Now, there's, if you look around on the internet, you'll find ways to make your own, or you can buy this at Walmart. And this is a really fun sand kids just love to work with. When you notice that your kids are getting a little worked up, they're a little off somehow, then you just uh, put them in a quiet place, put the kinetic sand out, and let them just play with it a little bit, and that usually will calm them right down. And if you happen to be in a place that doesn't have kinetic sand, a bowl of rice can work just as well. We're just getting started with all the great sensory products we had to show you. So come on back in the next episode, and we're going to show you a bunch more. Until then, don't forget to flush. Don't forget to wash your hands.